I got very excited about it because uh, I thought that there was great opportunity here to not just do something that was entertaining in the form that I'd been watching it in, but there was a father-son relationship here that I thought was very relatable and very interesting that um, 20, 30 years, 40 years from now will sustain um, more than just the entertainment value of what the viewer is, is watching and, and taking in. It's always fun when you're working with somebody who is the creator of it, who really understands it better than anyone ever will. That's, you know, for me, that was many, I had, I was fortunate and I had many opportunities to do that with, with directors, writers, uh, filmmakers, you know, who were, who were uh, creating their story. And James uh, is that guy. I mean, he, he, he knows, he knows it completely. So you don't have to, you don't, you don't ever have to, um, you can always ask. You can always question. You can always create with him, corroborate, collaborate, do all of those things. But the reason you can do it comfortably is because he's the father of it. What I find interesting is what he chooses to father. The story is his choice. It's his storytelling. It's, it's the story he's telling. And it comes down to some very interesting points of view. And I find ones that I find you can challenge and find challenge in them. And that's really a blast. So did you like that video? Do you think you know everything there is to know about movies? Well, today I have for you some interesting movie facts. 1941, during the army now, features the longest Hollywood kiss on camera, clocking in at three minutes and three seconds. Chocolate syrup was used as the blood in the movie Psycho. Hmm. Hitchcock himself thought the texture really helped to make it more realistic. Now, the longest film made is The Burning of the Red Lotus Temple. The film is over 27 hours long. Film executives were a bit nervous about casting Leonardo DiCaprio as the kid in The Quick and the Dead. As a result, and to show her confidence in the actor, co-star Sharon Stone paid his salary out of her own pocket. In The Lion King, one of the bugs that Timon pulls out of a log is wearing Mickey ears. Now, this is not the only case of Disney films pulling out other characters. The genie in Aladdin pulls Sebastian from The Little Mermaid out of his bag of tricks when looking through his spell book. In the Pirates of the Caribbean series, Johnny Depp wears contact lenses that function as sunglasses so that the character would not be constantly squinting. Hmm, not a bad idea. So, did you know these facts? Which ones? Do you know any interesting movie facts? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Lisa and I'll see you next time.